Hey you! Yes you! Are you a nostalgia freak? Do you yearn for a simpler time? Then the WOC Archive is the place for you. We've got footage from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Called from an old tape trader's collection bought off Craigslist, you'll find obscure and lost TV, news, interviews, music, sports, and everything in between. And it's all with original commercials. Every day a new tape, every day a new adventure. Subscribe today to the WOC Archive. If a picture paints a thousand words, then why can't I paint you? The words will never show the you I've come to know. Hello, 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 welcome, welcome to the WOC live stream. Uh, Tonight, we've got a crazy special, uh, something sort of similar to the Geraldo uh, Al Capone vault bit, uh, where uh, Telly Savalas and a bunch of deep sea explorers go down to the Titanic and take up a safe from the bottom of the ocean in hopes to find the rich stuff. And you got to wait stuff. until the end to find out if they find the rich stuff. And you know what? I'm not going to spoil it because I don't remember. I haven't watched the whole thing in a long time. But I'm so the, excited the, to watch Titanic. Oh, look at that. You got Titanic on VHS, as everyone yeah. knows from that Instagram account where that's all he says is Titanic, Titanic on VHS. On VHS. And this one's still sealed. Oh, wow. I mean, you should we should uh, get that graded uh, and uh, sell it on eBay for eight thousand dollars. I bet or just it would do to really that guy well. to that. Yeah, send it to him. Yeah, to that totally. one guy with my I always forget what uh, DiCaprio is called in that. I know it's Jack something, but I would Jack, keep Jack Dawson. Jack Dawson. Dawson. Yeah. Yeah. It's keep thinking, so it, annoying. I always, oh, yeah. It's the worst. Because all I see is Jack Dawson. How cool. I was going to say Jack Bauer, but I was like, wait, that's different. <laughs> no, that's the dude for 24. That's Kiefer Sutherland's character. Huh. On 24 yeah. yeah all right That's but cool. enough about that we're Jack here Bauer. because we're here because of telly savalas the man himself telly savalas i see I you've shaved head. your head for yeah. this evening because of telly is it so That's, believable this? it's that very the, believable very that's believable the best bald, bald cap. cap i've ever seen yeah. uh, i find bald most cap. bald caps are uh hawaiian shirts so <laughs> that's perfect yeah <laughs> Yeah, but we're here because uh, this special is hosted by Telly Savalas. Uh, Telly Savalas was, of course, uh, a staple of television back in the day. Uh, he was Kojak. Um, he uh, was in tons and tons of movies. He was one of those guys that showed up in lots of things. He was a man's um, man. He was definitely a man's man. Uh, he's uh, he's in a Bond movie. Uh, he plays a Bond villain in the, the Her Majesty's Secret Service. Uh, he's done One it all. Never talks about, including going to the Titanic and find, trying to find some bridge stuff. So there you go. Oh, um, I was gonna bring some lollipops to suck. I, even if I broke a tooth, I was like, I should do that. We've got some around here. <laughs> he loved his lollipops. Uh, he did love his lollipops. All right. Well, for, uh, I'm gonna kick things off with uh, a promo of the the special, uh, so we can get a a little sneak preview of what we're gonna watch. So here we go prepping for the long haul for tonight's viewing pleasures. Oh. Now, on live television, you'll see the ghostly wreck of a Titanic as it's never been seen before. And never been seen see before. This is pretty close to the after they, when they found it. Fortune to a watery grave, we've recovered a safe. We've recovered a mysterious case said to contain priceless jewels, and you'll see them both opened on live In the words of Cheech Mary. There is. There is. <laughs> when Better late than never, as Cheech once said. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Ghostbusters 2, when it shows up. Oh, that's that's a great cameo. The two second cameo by it's, yeah. it's so good. And that the the ghosts just coming off one by one. I love Ghostbusters too. I know that most people don't, but it's great. Uh it's pretty okay. amazing to think that, you know, all this time after the the sinking of the ship, people are still talking about it. Like it's still in the news. Uh everybody brings it up every April. Uh, they talk because that old lady and she was just lying about that medallion, she just made it all <laughs> the up. Medallion, it's the heart of the ocean, it's not a medallion. 
Uh, oh, or but whatever. Or is it like, the necklace you know, that she had. The, this the... this ship sank 112 just years out ago. Of nowhere. Yeah, it just pulled it out of nowhere. I I brought it up from the depths, uh, uh, just <laughs> like they, Telly and that's his what they call it down there. <laughs> the depths. It is what they call it down there. It's pretty amazing that after all of this time, it's still talked about. Um, so much so that uh, there's even crap movies made about the Titanic. Uh, and you sent me a bunch of uh, of trailers, so I thought maybe we those. could get into that. Yeah, which, right. I can't believe that there's three. You sent me three trailers, so that means there's three movies, which means that there's probably dozens more. Oh yeah, these are three movies that fit into the ride of the movies theme. Like oh, well, of course, the asylum. Yeah, this is once I put on a list when I do my yearly painathon, where I just review all day long. Since I don't review films very much, I spend one day where I just watch things that people tell me what to watch. This was like, it starts at like nine in the morning till midnight that i do it so this was okay. like the second film of that day so i had to get through this around like starting at 10 30 in the morning um it must then, have been very trying yeah by the end of the night by midnight ooh, it was a rough night is that bruce donaldson bruce davidson right is that what his no, name is i think that's what his name is wasn't he the was he the tv harry and the henderson's dad yes Oh no, they're going to have the same fate. The same fate. Same fucking fate. So awful. But because it's Asylum, when Titanic 2 goes out to water, a giant tornado picks up an iceberg and brings it to them. It's always a tornado. Uh, Of course. (laughs) They do love their, their NATOs. Yeah. At the asylum. We can blame NATO for all of this. <laughs> oh, look at it go down. So sad. Titanic. Do you think the heart of the ocean was on that one? The heart of rock and roll was not there. <laughs> Bob Cinema. Those who know EI know exactly what we're fucking getting into here. Those who what don't, the hell? just know Google Tina Krause and you'll figure out where we're going. <laughs> I have seen Titanic. Oh, no. what? <laughs> oh my god, what is that like uh uh tinfoil? Yeah. That's the hull of the ship is we literal tinfoil. <laughs> Wait, what? Why is there a ro- <laughs> Why is Why was Slash there? Why why yeah, why was Slash <laughs> there? A CGI boat. Starring what? Mr. Climb aboard. So that boat looks like it's not finished being uh, being skinned or rendered. Yeah, <laughs> it hasn't started. Wait, being with rendered. lesbian vampires? <laughs> I don't yeah. remember them traveling on the Titanic. Yeah, they always write that part oh. out. Oh, am I gonna have to do some blurring? That weird dude. Tammy Parks. We uh, played Tina his very Press. last film, uh, Attack of the Killer Chickens, at Terrible Fest two years ago. Titanic 2000, made in 1999. Independent cinema. All right, drinking some vodka iced as he goes down. Ah, uh, Tomcat Productions. They were the crappier uh, asylum. What is this? Rob from Girls. Is that and Charles Club Dance? Dance? No. It sure looked like him. Wait, is this this is like that HBO show? Uh, with the, the the cruise ship that in space that goes off, well, <laughs> what what was that show called? Uh, Avenue Six or Avenue Eight? Oh, something like that. It's got a six in it, not Cyber Six. This was also later released under the name of Predator's World. But when this was first released, this was Very called good. Aliens vs. Titanic. But they're on a pl- they're on a planet, so they're safe. Yeah, because wow. the Titanic crashed. The spaceship Titanic crashes on a planet. Oh, okay. And it's all full. Luckily, aliens. not underwater like right. the real Titanic. Instead, yeah, okay. they, they crashes on the desert this time. But uh, those are all the same people who were in the terrible fest premiered film Dracula in a Woman's Prison. Draco, I'm coming for you. So that person you thought was Charles not- Dance, that was the. Um, the CEO of Girls and Corpses magazine, Rob Ryan. 
it's not Charles. Uh, not Charles Dance. Not not Charles Dance. Okay. No. Uh, all right. Well, enough about the Titanic. We're going to get enough information about the Titanic in this special. Now we're going to talk what about we're here Telly for. We got to talk about Telly. Telly's the reason why we're here. So uh, I I put together some uh, commercials that I found amidst my collection. Uh, English featuring... commercials, so it'll be from the telly. When you're watching the telly. Well, yes, they're all they're all from the telly. <laughs> it's my terrible British accent. Right. No, yeah. no yeah. worse than mine. <laughs> yeah, but you actually live there. You have no excuse. <laughs> no. All right, here we go. Sunday. My name's Bond. 007 is back in action. With Diana Rigg and Telly Savalas on Her Majesty's Secret Service. That's a really Especially good James Bond movie, and no it one. It is a really good one. one. VIP treatment. So you come here, take a look. The come here, you come here. At Atlantic City. Las Don't Las hate the players. Vegas. Hate the club Lake guy. Tahoe. The Caribbean. <laughs> Lake even Tahoe. The cruise ships. You can stay in like one the hotel. Titanic. <laughs> See a show in another, and dine in still another. Oh yeah, My if the Titanic was still around, he would have been City. hawking we about it too. Over two hundred dollars. Call now and find out how you can get two. Tell us if Alice ever on an episode of Love Boat had to, right? A hundred percent. Yeah, I could tell just by looking at you, you could use some fun, right? Big fun. Las Vegas, Atlantic City, the Caribbean, cruise ships. But you got to take this along. The Players Club guy. Players Club take guy. Players Club. A lot of money. Well, that particular weekend, we saved one hundred and twenty dollars on the room. Fabulous rooms in the first But we blew eighteen thousand dollars at the slots. <laughs> My <laughs> husband <laughs> hung himself because of it. Like Damn you, Telly! Take your Players Club card, <laughs> and they just order your Players Club card. It gets you out of suicide. And no hassle, saving even more money. <laughs> Airfare. Or up to half off on shows and entertainment. Oh, 2000. So why are they so good to you? There's something about players. Why are they so good to us? Tell us, Vice President of Hilton like Nevada Corporation. Hilton and to the Flamingo Hiltons to have a good time. And that spreads to the people Flamingo around. Hiltons. Call Players Club now. You're too smart to pay full price. New members get two free nights in Do you Vegas think the, the, the um, answering machine thing was voiced by Telly Savalas when you called the number? Hey, it's me, Telly Savalas. Hey, welcome to Players Club. Of course. All the, you, all the commercials VIP that I could find with Telly Savalas were just the uh, player, Club <laughs> Players Club so card commercials, because I guess that's all he did. It's weird how family-friendly Players Club, Club card was. It feels like it was like, you know, high rollers type of thing. Well, I think it really was for that. But they made it seem like it was for the family. You listen to Telly? Players club yeah, you listen to Delhi. But and like the deals you were getting from it were the same things that you Vegas has everywhere. The fabulous resort cities, Atlantic City. That's an Las awful Vegas, impression. Reno, <laughs> it really Iowa. is, but it's great. You Look at that shirt in the background. That dude's pants. Get yourself a players club. You'll receive up to 110% wow. off on The joke might possibly be worse than the impression. With a players club, you'll get VIP treatment, baby. No. I'll have a suite with a heart shaped bed. I'm sorry. We... Oh. Bellboy. <laughs> and with the club, there's no problem. No, old blue eyes. Is, is this so Mad TV or, or In Living Color? Oh. It's In Living Color, right? Because he was it's, on In Living Color. Yeah, but it just. Yeah, I love how he has the penguin nose. I just so he kind of like looks like the like penguin. Yeah, it just felt like a little later, like he was. The makeup makes it hard to tell his age. That was a uh, much better uh, ball cap than yours was, though. Yeah. Oh. Who clubs you, baby? Wow. <laughs> Who clubs you, baby? Forty. Sixty. And one for you. Surely. He couldn't lower his He's voice that little bit more. Mess with. Tell me what happened that night. Called and in then of course, Kojak. Telly Zavalas returns in Kojak. The Price of Justice, Sunday. Was there not a Kojak remake in recent years? Uh, there might have been. I'm not sure. Like... But as I did just look up, there was an episode of... Um, uh, of Love Boat that did have Telly Savalas on it, and uh, if we were to flash any photos from that episode, it would still just look like the Players Club card ads. <laughs> yeah, the way that he's I mean, he never looked any different. No. <laughs> he also kind of looks like Yule Brenner. 
Yeah, like a yeah. Yeah, fatter you're a runner, yeah. Uh, <laughs> beefier. beefier. I wouldn't say fatter, beefier. Well, you but, Brenner was jacked though. Like he was yeah, that's that's true. He was jacked. Yeah. He was felt. <laughs> Yo, spelt. Good, good word. Is that that your word of the day? Is spelt? Yeah, yeah that's my word of the day. That's all you get from me. <laughs> uh, uh, all I right. Well, you were, who you are, were asking? Uh, Ving if... Rames. Ving Rames played Kojak in the remake. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I do remember that existing. Yes, of yeah. course. He's gonna go uh, medieval. You, you, asked, ass. you asked if uh, if Telly was on uh, the Love Boat, but he was a staple of television shows. He was on uh, a plethora of them, uh, including The Fugitive. And uh, in the first three seasons, he was on once every season, uh, playing totally different characters. Uh, He interacted with the same people, but they didn't realize that he was the same actor, which I think is really funny and something that happened, I think, a lot in older television. Uh, They didn't care so much about, like, you know, that person had been on before. So I cut together the three uh, three epilogues of uh, the fugitive, uh, so we can see three different characters of Telly Savalas. So this is from season one, episode eighteen, called "Where the Action Is." Right here, WCW. He said he knew all about running. Yeah. The dice come up that way sometimes. Too bad, a good life wasted. Not all of it wasted. Not all of it wasted. Hey, baby. Some 600 passengers will depart the Reno airport today. Some are flying on business, some for pleasure, some for urgent personal reasons. This is Final Destiny. One man, as always, is flying for his life. Richard Kimball. Fugitive. Bum, 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 bum. Mr. Uh, the Fugitive is such a good show. All right, so from season two, episode 25, may God have mercy. He plays like a boxer, down on his luck. And yet looks exactly the same. I'd like to thank you. Oh, and here's the here's the Tommy Lee right. Jones character. Yes, uh, for, uh, who's chasing Richard Kimball down. Kim- Marshall. It's, well, it changed a lot of things for us. Listen, I want to make sure that Kimball gets a good lawyer. We'll pay all the legal expenses, all of them. Yes, well, uh, I'll tell him when I find him. <laughs> After I kill him. Uh, just a nice silent moment in the television show. They don't do that anymore either. Later, everybody. <laughs> Always escaping in the linen. That is a trope of escaping. Yeah, they shouldn't let prisons do linen like this. Well, I don't think they do that anymore. They probably have an in-house place. They learned. They learned from yeah, the they learned. TV the shows. Sentence comes they use the prisoners to, to do the work now. Protecting each man in a different way. Why would you outsource? An end to pain. For others, it becomes a challenge to live. Oh, for Richard Kimball, the challenge is repeated with every new turn of the road. Why can't I think who played Richard Kimball in the movie? Not Harrison Ford. Oh, it was Harrison Ford. So I'm just thinking Liam, but not Liam. He said Leslie Nielsen in like his spoof of it. Oh yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, um, I forget what that was called. Yeah. By heart? No, not by heart. No. Wrongfully accused. No, right. that's yeah, it is wrongfully accused. Or is that the one with Dave Foley where where his girlfriend has narcolepsy? <laughs> yeah. uh, I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Oh, here's a here's a young uh, Jeff Bridges. I'm sorry. Isn't that or Jeff is it, Bridges? Or is it Bo Bridges? I had to. Oh, maybe it is Bo Bridges. At that age, they look the same. It was hard to tell. I think that's Jeff Bridges. I, I had to. You can tell it's a Bridges, though. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I, know. I know. I don't. I don't know what character I'm playing today. 
<laughs> I've been on this show so many times. I've interacted with you and you don't remember me. I don't understand. I'm telling some Alice, goddammit. Get me a drink. He was a good actor. Now, you get off a lot easier than you will. Believe me. And after that? Yeah, I've had that problem for years. Don't worry about that. He's a good kid. He's got lots of friends here. Then maybe I didn't do so bad after all. Except when you killed that man. <laughs> Even for the guilty, there is relief when the truth is known. But for Richard Kimball, the truth that will free him lies somewhere ahead, over the next horizon, beyond the next town, in another place, at another time. Like the past. Time travel, are you oh, oh. Three times the Telly Savalas was on The Fugitive. And he was on tons of television shows back in the day. He's in tons of movies. He was a working working man. He worked in so many or he was in so many things. It's he was crazy. working it. He's uh, a work yeah, working actor. It's crazy. You should add in your edit a at least just a photo of him from Horror Express because of just how amazing his jacket is in that movie. He has right. such a style and coat on in Horror Express. His character is actually really good in that too. Uh, he steals the movie pretty much. But if you don't remember anything from Horror Express, you will remember Telly Savalas's coat. All right, uh, I'll I'll flash a flash it right now. Here we go. Bing, flashed. Okay. All right, so before we get to the main show, uh, I have one more uh, clip to show. Uh, did you know that in the 90s, uh, Telly Savalas was uh, part of one of, or Telly rather, was part of one of those uh, those interactive VHS video games? Did you know that? He seems like the kind of guy who would sell out for that. Yeah, yeah, totally. So here we go. I, got, I found a clip online, uh, and I thought this was really cool. So here's Telly. Uh, on an interactive video game uh, and I'll show a little bit about what the game was after uh, the clip it's one of those laser discs no it's not one of those laser discs it's, it's actually like a VHS game so it's Viewmaster Interactive Digital. oh from Viewmaster hear ye hear ye you have to have this telly here eventually <laughs> and I mean open for business. Come on, they have come similar on. noses too <laughs> uh, well I don't know if he actually is supposed to be telly ye, Savalas, but Telly's traveling magic show he's, is he's now. A, if Telly Savalas was slow, come on, come on, please! <laughs> I need somebody to come and be huh? Uncle Wally. Hi, Uncle Wally. Uncle Wally. I don't remember Uncle Wally. I, I, I don't remember Uncle Wally either. Today, yeah. I thought it was Martin <laughs> Short in costume, like Martin Short now. To get me out of a wicked magician's <laughs> castle. Is that so? It's yep. a nice bow tie. You know, and a really my great sweater. Gilbert is a wonderful magician. Really? Yes. Really? Why, do you know one day I saw him walk down the street and turn into a supermarket? Wha oh, Uncle Wally. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Just a little joke, Kelly. <laughs> yeah, a good one, too. <laughs> little joke. Turned into a supermarket. It was a little joke. <laughs> so here you go. This is the VHS tape, the front <laughs> oh! cover of it. Uh, Magic on Sesame Street for use with uh, this. So this is what it looked like. What the hell? Uh, yeah, and so like you controlled it with the buttons here. Uh, Looks like a hand, uh, and and basically it was like um, like you selected something on each quadrant of the the screen. Uh, that's your only options, and it was just like a selective thing, and it would bring the tape to whatever position it needed to be in. How difficult would that have been? How much how much of a chance would you break your tape with that? Yeah, probably. So there you go. Uh, I don't think it was a very popular uh, product, and I don't think it lasted for very long. But they did make a deal with uh, Sesame Street and uh, Muppets, so there's like a bunch of Muppets ones, and there's a bunch of uh, well, Sesame Street ones. Viewmaster was Mattel, right? So I mean, they famously yeah, sometimes went through moments where they just blew money. It is pretty cool because it has like content that was made specifically for those uh, tapes that don't exist in any other form. So they're neat for that uh, part. 
Now. And I guess Viewmaster was doing like nowadays we got a lot of toy companies that do the um, you know they get rights to so many products just to do like one thing like pop toys and things like that. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Viewmaster is the original of that because Viewmaster probably had to actually license all those different themed reels that they did. I mean, I'm sure that there's a Titanic Viewmaster reel. There must be. I got to do a little research well, and flash you- it now. Bing! There and, you go. And if it doesn't right. do this, God knows what you'll show. <laughs> Who knows? There must be one. There must be. All right. Well, on that note, uh, Adam, thank you for joining. Uh, oh, you, you you found yourself a lollipop. I got a uh, lollipop well, here in Tally. Iceland, but I cannot get the wrapper off for the oh. life of me, well, which just, is why I haven't used it. So Just suck on the wrapper. Just, just suck it right on my broken tooth. Oh, oh. Don't break it any further. Uh, and thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Enjoy the show. Hopefully, Telly is uh, more successful than Geraldo. Something tells me he probably isn't going to be. Otherwise, we'd remember. Uh, just like we remember the Titanic. So have a wonderful evening. Good night, folks. I'm placing my bets that J. Edgar Hoover will be found at the bottom of the uh, <laughs> Titanic. Place your bets right now in your player's club card. And remember... <laughs> We love you, baby. Are you ready to go back to Titanic?